Mesdames et messieurs, votre attention s'il vous plaît, nous allons commencer. So as you are able, please rise for the entrance of her honor, the honorable Judy Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, and his honor, Howard Foote, and remain standing for the royal salute. Hello, bonjour, <laughs> your honors, honorable ministers, guests, and students. Happy spring. It's the province's multiculturalism month. It's also the International Francophonie Day and a time to celebrate our Francophone communities. <laughs> I'm so delighted to be co hosting our official opening ceremony with Mademoiselle Emily Marshall, a bilingual project coordinator all the way from France. Emily is one of the kindest, hardworking, talented, and innovative people I've ever met. She's the creator of a beautiful banner, as you see here. Um, and it has been an absolute pleasure working with her for the past several months. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, merci yes. beaucoup. <laughs> we want to start our four-day event by recognizing our indigenous peoples and their lands. As a provincial cultural facility, the rooms respectfully acknowledges the province of Newfoundland and Labrador as the ancestral homeland of many diverse populations of indigenous peoples who have contributed to 9,000 years of history, including the biotic of the island of Newfoundland. Today, the province is home to diverse populations of indigenous and other people. We would also like to acknowledge with respect the diverse histories and cultures of the Mi'kmaq, Inu, and Inuit. Thank you. I'll now invite Mary Dean. She is the president of Sharing Our Cultures Incorporated to say a few words. Mary? Thank you, Dr. Cueco, and welcome everyone. Uh, it is my honor to bring greetings on behalf of the members of the board as well as our advisory committee of sharing our cultures. Um, it, it's so good to be in person, so bienvenue à tous. And uh, echoing Dr. Cueco's remarks, I'd I would like to extend a particular welcome to our dignitaries, her honor, the Honorable Judy Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador. Some ministers are in, in the house, uh, John Abbott, Sarah Studley, and Bernard Davis. And we also had uh, Twin City councillors, Mayor Denny Breen uh, of St. John's and Mayor Dave Aker of Mount Pearl. And we'd also like to acknowledge our partner representatives, our two school districts. I see Bonnie Woodland with the English School District as well as Patricia Green with the Francophone Board. And we also have uh, the rooms represented here today. Rogers TV with Linda Lamb, uh, Fortis. We have Karen McCarthy and we'd also like to acknowledge Dr. Sonia Knutson with the Internationalization Office of Memorial University. So welcome. So it has been said, good things come in threes. And this seems to be true for this month of March and in particular for Sharing Our Cultures March 2022. Uh, today, we celebrate International Francophonie Day and tomorrow, uh, we recognize the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. The province has also designated March as Multiculturalism Month. Today also marks the first day of spring. And if you're not convinced, you need only check out the greenhouse at the government house. Uh, thirdly, following two years of 2D programming, sharing our cultures has returned in 3D. It's wonderful, c'est magnifique. Thank you for coming. So 22 years and going strong, sharing our cultures à la découverte de nos cultures continues to highlight and celebrate our province's cultural diversity. Sharing our culture's mandate is to uh, promote 
the values of multiculturalism and intercultural relations within bilingual and multicultural Canada. Through its programs, uh, Sharing Our Cultures connects and fosters belonging and acceptance among culturally diverse school youth and all school children. So while our programs are varied and diverse, uh, our longest running event, however, is our namesake, Sharing Our Cultures à la découverte de nos cultures. This event enables newcomer high school youth to share aspects of their culture with grade six students and the public over the course of a multi-day interactive event. Our 22nd running of this event is set to enjoy, uh, engage both your mind and your spirit, and we are confident you will enjoy. In closing, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the tremendous effort, dedication, and support of all our volunteers, partners, and sponsors for making this event happen. It would not have been possible without you, and to you, we throw a bouquet. We would also like to throw a particularly big bouquet for the founder and CEO of uh, Sharing Cultures, Dr. Lodetta Cueco. So please join me in giving a round of thanks. And now, I would like to invite Her Honor, the Honorable Judy Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, to bring greetings. Well, good afternoon, everyone. How exciting is it to be able to have this wonderful event in person again? So I'm delighted to be able to join you, as is his honor. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. We need to acknowledge uh, all cultures and all languages and uh, realize how important we are in Newfoundland and Labrador to be able to come together like this. I too want to acknowledge those who've made a significant contribution to be able to see this event take place, all of our sponsors, but as well, of course, I look at the ministers here who played such a big part. So Minister Stooley, Minister Davis, Minister Abbott, so good to share your company again on this occasion. And we have Mayor Breen and Mayor Acker here, I'm told. So it's so nice to see our Twin Cities be involved as much as they are. First and foremost, congratulations to all the remarkable students who have worked incredibly hard this year for sharing our culture's exhibition to not only here at the rooms, but also in Labrador City, Happy Valley Goose Bay, Corner Brook, Gander, and Grand Falls, Windsor. And I love it when I hear that it's taken outside of the Avalon. Not that there's anything wrong with being on the Avalon, but we really need to look uh, beyond the Avalon and see what's happening in other parts of our province. So we have students participating in all of these locations during Newfoundland and Labrador's Multiculturalism Month. 22 years after its establishment, program participants of Sharing Our Circles continue to gather valuable knowledge and skills as they learn about intercultural relations, creating a forum for all voices, cultures, histories, and experiences to be heard, seen, and valued. By sharing information with each other about different cultures and history through language, the arts, and more, Sharing Our Cultures fosters a higher level of respect for how we are different together. At Government House, we too understand the value and importance of immersing ourselves in different cultures, and we strive to offer experiences to connect with our diverse community. Throughout the pandemic, as part of our COVID-19 community outreach program, we invited international students who were going to Memorial or to the College of the North Atlantic to come to the grounds of Government House, to spend time in our company, because we knew how hard it was on them to be away from their parents, and in some cases not able to connect. So we brought them together. Uh, thank you to Sonia, who's here, Sonia Knudsen, um, for her help in making it happen. So we would have receptions on the grounds of Government House with our international students. And I think we've covered off about five countries so far, and I say so far because we want to continue to do that on the grounds of Government House. Most recently, uh, we hosted Newfoundland and Labrador's Black Community during Black History Month for an evening of powerful musical performances by the incredible talented Ife Alaba, uh, JJ, and the Black Heritage Newfoundland Choir. And if you have never heard them, you should make a point of doing so. They were absolutely amazing for the evening of performance. 
And I have to tell you that there were individuals there who I've never seen move in my life who moved that night. The uh, music was incredible. Also throughout Black History Month, on our social media platforms, we profiled different members of the black community. This is our second year doing that. And it was so rewarding for me and for those at Government House to get to know all of these individuals who have so accomplished and making a tremendous contribution to Newfoundland and Labrador. Embracing different cultures awards the opportunity to be culturally aware and accepting. And above all, to experience what it's like to be a part of a community other than our own. And that was certainly the case for us at Government House. And I hope by sharing it on our social media platforms that we have helped to educate others, but as well to make them aware of the amazing contributions and accomplishments of the members of our black community. And speaking about the organization on its 20th anniversary a few years ago, and this quote has stuck with me. It's a quote by Dr. Cueco. She shared a piece of wisdom that really has resonated with me. She said that the Sharing Our Cultures initiative is about seeing beyond how somebody looks, how somebody sounds, or where someone originated from, to instead seeing what's in the heart, because it is our heart that we share with one another. And we all have the same heart beating within us. Is it any wonder that we love Dr. Lloyd Cueco? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> she has been so helpful to us at Government House. I don't know how many of you know, but Dr. Cueco has the Order of Newfoundland and Labrador. And that doesn't come easily. That's in recognition of the contribution that you've made to Newfoundland and Labrador. So we are so delighted to have her uh, organize with us at Government House and uh, give us her advice in terms of how we go forward, particularly with our black community, but with all of our cultures in Newfoundland and Labrador. So a sincere thank you to Dr. Cueco, to Sharing Our Cultures organizers for their considered efforts to share this great event with us. It's an important and needed exchange for students who need to know that their work is really appreciated and who need to know that with them, we celebrate the work that they do. You should all be so proud of what you have accomplished. And I look forward to, as I've done in the past, and delighted that we can do it this year in person, view the exhibits and chat with each of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Merci, Votre Honor. Et maintenant, c'est avec grand plaisir que je vais inviter Minister John Abbott à venir s'adresser à vous. Minister Abbott. Oh, merci, Emily. Uh, allez, excuse me. Allez, étudiants, de, comment ça va? And, uh, and uh, thank you, folks, uh, for, uh, for the invitation today. So on behalf of the government of Newfoundland and Labrador, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to speak at Sharing Our Culture's 2022 opening ceremony. And I had the pleasure to be here last year uh, in the company of their honors. And uh, it's great to see you again. And thank you for your hospitality at Government House for the uh, musical event at uh, Black uh, History Month. It was an excellent, excellent evening, so thank you for, for that. The work of sharing our cultures is much needed in our province and makes a tremendous difference in the lives of all our youth. Promoting diversity, multiculturalism, and bilingualism is a shared goal, not only of your organization, but of our government. And as mentioned, today we are sharing uh, Francophonie Day. So to all our uh, Francophonie friends uh, and families and students here and abroad, I uh, hope you can celebrate and enjoy that this day. Tomorrow is International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, something that uh, will, unfortunately, will have to continue for, for many, many, many years to come. And the entire month of March, is Multiculturalism Month here in the province. Recently, our government worked with the Sharing Our Cultures to, to enhance the skills of newcomer youth in our high schools. 
and enable professional development for teachers. This is allowing our newcomers to our high schools in particular to acquire new skills like public speaking and presenting, which is a, a daunting task in front of your peers. I've been there and I know that. And I know it even to this day. And the skills that you are learning will help you get better jobs while you're studying, while also getting you ready for graduation. And just last year, we launched an initiative to help newcomer youth start businesses and become their own bosses and entrepreneurs. As a result, our young people are learning skills like financial literacy, writing business plans, and learning how to manage employees. Again, no easy feat. So the sooner you can start on that skill, the better your uh, work life will be for sure. We know that newcomers are more likely to start their own businesses, and we want to make sure that they have every opportunity to make their dreams become a reality. And we'll see some of that evidence when we go through your presentations and your booths here this afternoon. So congratulations to sharing our cultures. I look forward to celebrating with all of you during this opening ceremony and working with you to make sure great things happen to you, for our communities, and for all of us now and for the years to come. Basically, the whole essence of sharing our cultures is to allow us to benefit from a more diverse and multicultural society. So let us continue to make Newfoundland and Labrador a welcoming place to everyone. And that will not become more truer than what we are seeing now in the Ukraine. And the Newfoundland government, uh, working with the federal government and others, with our desk here in the province, and with our, I'll call it our advanced team over in Poland, is looking to greet 